I want to take a minute to talk about memory leaks before we move forward and add more features to our application. Now, a memory leak is whenever you unbind or you fail to unbind an event in JavaScript or a listener in JavaScript. So JavaScript keeps your object in memory and it keeps building up in memory, building up in memory to all of a sudden you're out of memory and your browser either crashes or starts running very bad. Memory leaks can actually cause your entire computer system to run poorly because lots of these browsers can consume so much memory on your machine if you allow it to. So I have a memory leak going on right now. Let me show you what happens. I can hit reload and then my Flux store goes ahead and updates. Now I can toggle away to a different page, come back and my store still remembers all the changed information. But if I hit reload a second time, I get an error message. Hey, you can't call set state on an unmounted component. And your first thought is probably, well, clearly it's mounted. I'm seeing it right here. And let me show you what's going on. This is the offending code right here. On component will mount, we're calling set state if the to-do store changes. We're binding this listener right here. However, every time we change our route, a brand new to-do component gets created. And we can do this because virtual DOM is only going to update the DOM if this new to-do component changes the DOM, renders out differently than the old to-do component did. So we're creating a new to-do component. We're injecting it with all our current props. And if nothing's changed, we don't update the DOM. If something has changed, uh, then we update the DOM. So every time we render, we go through the render tree, there's a brand new to-dos component getting created. That means the first time around, this guy is going to listen to the store. And then when he goes away and the next guy comes along, he listens to the store as well. And when you hit that button or when to do store changes, both components are going to try to update their state, except for the original component isn't at all connected to the DOM tree anymore. Let me kind of show you how we get around this. First, I want to prove to you that that's what's going on. I'm going to, oh, what is the... I forget what the event listener API is. Um, listener counts. Let's go ahead and console log this. So the count of my event listeners for change events. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and reload. So the first time in, I'm getting one listener. I come back. Now I have two event listeners on to do store change events. Three event listeners, four event listeners, five. So if I hit reload and that thing changes four times now, components that shouldn't even exist anymore just tried to update their state. So that's the problem. The, the way around it is very simple. We just do a component will unmount method, and they're just going to remove that event listener. Uh, so to do that, we basically just want to extract this out to its own function. Let's pull this out to its own function. We'll call this get to do's. There we go. Get to do is going to do that. I'm going to automatically bind this guy to this so I don't have to bind it all over the place. This get to do's equals this get to do's bind this. There we go. So now whenever I reference get to do's, it's automatically bound. And I can go this get to do's. So there we go. I made my listener. I'll leave that console log in there. And that will be, what was that? To do store listener count change. And then a component will unmount. I'm going to unbind listener. I believe that's the control, the command for that. I always forget what that command is because I feel like it should just be off if it's on. So we're unbinding that listener now. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's remove. Yep. Unbind listener is not the function. I always forget that. Go to event emitter node. Find out what that is. Remove listener. Goodness. It's the thing you do once every month. So there we go. When component will unmount, we're just going to remove that listener. And look, count stays one. Count remains one, no matter how many times I re-render that. And I hit reload, and I don't get the error. I leave, I come back, I hit reload, I don't get the error. 
So now, no matter how many times I toggle back and forth, toggle back and forth, my browser is going to be able to get rid of all those old components that don't matter anymore. It's going to release them from memory because there's no more event listeners associated with those. My memory stays clean and I can move forward. So it's very important that if you're listening to any events on mount, that you unlisten to those events on unmount. That's the gist of memory leaks. Anything you bind, you really want to make sure that that gets unbound.